Brent Musburger, take an up-close and personal look at five-time national champion Janet Lynn on our Wide World Classic when we continue from Lausanne. Figure skating in the 90s is a sport of bright lights and young stars. The domain of 15-year-old world champions and 14-year-old national champions. Far removed from the glitz and glamour in the heartland of America is one who knows well the promise and peril of teen stardom. Five-time national champion, Janet Lynn. We watched Janet grow up on Wide World. In 1967, she made her senior debut at the Nationals at the age of 13. In 1968, she skated at her first Olympics at 14. And in 1969, she captured her first national title at 15. I was just kind of innocently doing what I love to do. Um, and when I won the title at age 15, I was very excited. But it was what I wanted to do. It was my goal, and it was just like, okay, now let's go on to the next thing. The next thing was to win a world or Olympic title, but the gold medal eluded her. Not proficient at school figures, her deficit entering the free skate was always too great. Janet entered the 72 Olympics as one of the favorites, but the school figures once again entered her dreams of gold. I was um, very embarrassed for all that my coach had put into me, all that my parents and my, my brothers and my sister had sacrificed. Most would have retired, but Janet carried on. The 1973 World Championships were broadcast on Wide World, and it was in Czechoslovakia that the short program made its debut. The change was designed to reward excellence in free skating, and Janet Lynn was very much in the minds of officials when they rewrote the rules. But her performance in the short program was not what anyone had imagined. I got off the ice and I just could not believe what had just transpired. And I cried and I cried and again, I mean, if I thought I was low at the Olympics, I was lower than low. And now I went through a very low night of despair the night before I had to skate. I really believe that it was on the wings of prayer that I was able to go onto the ice with courage the next day. This must be the most difficult moment in the skating career of Janet Lynn. Nothing's the way it was supposed to be. This was the moment after working in world championship or championship competition since she was 14 when she would have a solid crack at the title. It looks now almost impossible for her to win. For to do so, you'd have to see more sixes on the board than we've ever seen before. I did it because of the way I had been trained by my family and my coach that you don't quit. You go on and you continue what you're going to do and you finish the job. Layback spin. Beautiful position. Notice that every move she does, every jump, every spin the program. Nothing is done merely for the sake of putting in a trick or a, a, a highlight as such. And a final straight spin. I'll tell you, a real guts performance by little Janet Lynn of Rockford, Illinois. She was really on the spot. She had been so down in that short program. Fell twice. But she's given her very best. Whether I won the gold medal in the Olympics or the world, as a human being, mattered to me very much for very many years. But there was not more that I could give. And if that's the case, then that's okay. After the World Championships, Janet turned professional. But little has been seen of her over the last 20 years, and there's a reason. She took the drive and dedication that made her a great skater and applied it to another pursuit, motherhood. On the ice, I think that my peers recognized in me that I became an artist on the ice. I did decide, and I am transferring all my mental, physical, and spiritual energy to become an artist at home to make a masterpiece of my family with the help of God.